Hey everyone, I hope you are doing good and staying safe. Welcome to yet another interesting tutorial on SQL column operations by Simply Code. In today's session, we will learn various column operations that are performed in SQL like adding, deleting, modifying or updating the columns and their values in an existing table in SQL database. More on that soon, but before we get started, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. So as you can see, MySQL Workbench has started and in MySQL, the column operations play an important role because for even for data analysis or even if you're performing queries on your database table, it is quite essential because let's say, for instance, you have uh, created a table as per your require with requirement with a set of uh, different columns. Now later at a different stage, you might need to add some additional requirements where the table might need to have some additional columns or even some columns might require to be deleted or some column names need to be changed into a new columns within that existing table. Now there are mainly two different ways to uh, satisfy this condition. First is you have to delete the table and recreate a new table as per your new requirement. Now this is possible and advise only when the table is empty, right? Now, if the table is not empty, you have to copy the data and then delete the table, or create another table and then copy or load the data into the uh, new table. Now, this is time consuming and also not advisable. The other way is to add, delete or modify the columns and the data present in it to the current table without touching the existing columns and its corresponding data. Now, this is done by using the alter table statement which fulfills the requirement of uh, adding uh, new data within the existing columns. Now the alter table statement is used to change the structure of the existing table by adding, deleting or modifying the columns without modifying the data in it. So let us discuss uh, what are the different operations that are performed in SQL. Firstly, let us discuss the add column uh, operation in uh, SQL. For, for that, let me consider the employee table. So let me just display the values in it select star from employee so as you can see uh, the employee table has various columns like employee id employee name age designation city salary date of joining department id now let's say i have an additional requirement where i want to add another column let's say if i want to add the other number details of the employees for that, I'll use the alter statement and the query is alter table employee add column other number and mention the uh, column data type. I'm taking varchar and we'll specify not null as our constraint. That means uh, it must have uh, a other number for every employee in the table. So let me just execute the statement. So as you can see, our query has been successfully executed. So let me just display the values. So as you can see, uh, there is a new column other number uh, that has been created in our existing table without disrupting any columns and its values in the uh, employee table. Now similarly, you can add multiple columns to your existing table as well. And the query is alter table employee add column and within the uh, brackets mention the different column names. Now let's say if I want to add the par number as well as the UN that is the universal account number of the employees. So the query will be add column par number mention the column data type, I'm taking varchar again, comma, UAN number, mention the data type as varchar, so let us execute this statement and see the output, so our query has been executed successfully, let us see the output now, so as you can see, uh, we have two other columns, PAN number and UN number in our uh, employee table. Since we have not mentioned, mentioned any constraints here as uh, null or not null, uh, 
so it by default it is taking here as null values so in this way you can use the alter table command to add multiple columns in your uh, table as well now similarly you can even modify or update the column values as well uh, let's say if i want to update the uh, existing column name into a new name now for that i'll use the alter table statement again now consider the employee table again so let me just display the values now if i want to change the salary column name into total salary so for that the following query would be alter table employee change column is the keyword we use in mysql so mention the keyword change column so we want to change the salary column into total salary and also mention the uh, data type as well so let us execute the query and see the output so our query has been successfully executed so let me just display the records again so as you can see a uh, salary name of the column salary has been changed into the total salary here so in this way you can update the uh, column values as well now similarly you can also modify the existing uh, column type in the table as well for that the following query would be alter table employee modify is the keyword now let's say if i want to change the age uh, data type so let's see what the initial or the previous data type was in uh, for age so i'll use the describe employee uh, query here so we basically have varchar as our uh, data type for the age now if i want to change into int so i'll just basically uh, mention the int keyword here so let us execute this statement and see the output so there was a bit error uh, i forgot to mention the uh, column keyword here so that's why it is uh, showing an error so let me just again uh, describe the uh, table employee so as you can see the uh, data type of the age column has been changed from varchar to int so in this way you can use the uh, alter table to modify the column data type as well now similarly we can also uh, modify an, a new column or an existing column with a default value as well uh let's say i want to take a new column uh, bonus that is the bonus salary for all the employees so for that the following query would be alter table employee alter column is the keyword we use here bonus is the column that i am creating set default is the keyword and i am keeping the bonus salary default as uh, let's say 15000 so let us execute the query and see the output so i forgot to add the column of the bonus so let me just first add the column so alter table employ add column bonus varchar 20 so our uh, bonus uh, column has been successfully created here so now we can see our query will be successful here as well so let me just describe the table again now if you scroll down you can see the uh, bonus column uh, the field which it has uh, the default salary as 15000 so in this way you can add the uh, default value to your existing columns or uh, to your new columns as well and finally we can uh, also drop the columns uh, the drop column is basically is used to delete the unnecessary or unwanted columns in our database so let's say if i want to <clears throat> delete the uh, cre already created uh, columns such as aadhar pan uan and bonus so i'll use the drop statement here to delete the columns that were created earlier so drop so the query would be alter table employee drop column now first let us uh, delete a single column here so let's say if i want to delete the other number column so i'll use the other number column here so let us see the output our query has been successfully executed let me just select the uh, records so as you can see uh, other number column has been successfully deleted and similarly you can also delete multiple columns as well all you have to do is just uh, write the same query and put a comma 
and write again the column drop column keyword here and let's say if i want to delete the pan number as well so pan number as well as the un number here now so i can use this query here so let me just execute this and see the output so our query has been executed let me just display the records so as you can see uh, the UN number as well as the PAN number has been successfully uh, deleted from the employee table as well. And similarly, the altered statement uh, table statement is also used to add and drop various constraints on an existing table like which we have discussed earlier. Uh, if you want your column uh, a null value, then you can mention the null as the constraint there. And if you uh, don't want any null values for your columns, then you can use the not null keyword in your uh, alter table statements. So in this way, you can use the uh, alter table statement to perform various column operations in SQL. So that was all about the SQL uh, column operations guys, where we have discussed about how to add, how to delete and how to update or modify the existing columns in the database. Thank you for watching the video guys. I hope you found this tutorial useful and informative. If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics that were covered in today's session, Feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.